Hi everyone, it's Rachel, and in this video, I'll be showing you what we received in the September Halloween Sophie and Toffee Elves box, as well as having a go at creating some cookies using UV resin. So in this Elves box, we received a gingerbread man cookie mold, a pumpkin and scully cookie mold, a web cookie mold, open bezel charms, three colors of whipped cream clay, sprinkles, Halloween polymer clay pieces, two phone grips, UV resin, UV gel, and four colors of pigment powder. So to get started with my cookie design, I brought out Procreate on my iPad, and I'm using this to kind of sketch out my ideas and plan exactly what I want to do. The Elves Box booklet gives you a few icing ideas, so I decided that I wanted to do a wet on wet icing look, where I could do a marble kind of effect like you might do with royal icing on real biscuits. I settled on purple, orange, and green for my Halloween colors, and then I added a character design to each one based on those colors. I began by taking the web cookie mold, and in particular, I'm going to be using this one on the right hand side, which is just a regular biscuit. I also took the UV resin that came in the box, as well as a few cookie colored liquid pigments, which I mixed into the UV resin. And I just kept adding these colors along with white until I was happy with the overall color. The particular cookie that I made in this clip actually came out a little darker than I would have liked. So I went back and I mixed my resin for the others, and I mixed a little bit more white in so that the color was lighter. I then poured this resin mixture into the cookie mold and I cured it under a UV light. Next up, I took this white 3D resin, which actually came in a previous Sophie and Toffee Elves box, and I used this to outline the cookie where I wanted the icing to go. This is so that when I add my other resin and I start marbling it, it doesn't overflow over the edges. So I cured the outline under my UV light, and then here I'm just adding some white UV resin. I then created a purple resin mixture, and you can see that I'm just placing some random dots all over the white, and then here I'm using a toothpick to drag the purple through the white and marble the colors. When I was happy with how it looked, I cured this under my UV light, and then I just repeated this process for the orange and the green icing as well. So here are what my three cookies currently look like with their wet on wet icing design. I then brought out my acrylic paint and now it's time to start adding my characters. So on the purple cookie, I am adding a little kawaii sloth and the sloth is going to be wearing a purple witch's hat, which is kind of how I tied this character in with the purple. When I was painting my designs, I did use a mixture of regular acrylic paint and also some of my Posca paint pens as well, depending on which color I was looking for. Next, we have the orange cookie, and for this one, I started off by painting a pumpkin, and then I'm going in and adding a little gray cat positioned up on the top. This one is actually already an existing design, which I made out of clay for Halloween last year, I believe it was, but I thought it would fit really nicely with the orange cookie. Finally, we have the green cookie, and for this one, of course, I had to do a chubby dino. And then to give it a little bit more of a spooky Halloween theme, I have turned it into Frankenstein's monster. So I've painted on a little scar, and then I've also got some silver bolts coming out of the side of his body as well. Off camera, I then decided that I wanted to add a black outline to my characters, so I did that with acrylic paint. And then here I'm just doming each cookie using some UV resin to make it nice and shiny, and also to protect the acrylic paint so that it doesn't wear off. So here are the final designs all together, and I'm really, really happy with how these turned out. Surprisingly, I was able to get them looking pretty similar to the rough sketches that I did on my iPad at the start of the video. It has been quite a while since I've painted anything using acrylic paint, so while they're not completely perfect and some of the paint was a little thick and cracked a little bit, I do still love these pieces overall. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!